بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم قاسم وارننگ ٹو عمران خان ٹو ایکسپٹ ہز فیلئر ٹوینٹی ایٹ آف نومبر ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی محمد قاسم نریٹس دا ڈریم دیٹ آئی سو اے بگ ہال اینڈ عمران خان واز سٹنگ آن دا اسٹیج ہی واز سٹنگ آن دا چیئر نیکسٹ ٹو دا ڈائس اینڈ ون آف ہز ویری کلوز ایسوسیٹس واز آلسو سٹنگ نیکسٹ ٹو ہیم آئی کوڈنٹ سی دا فیس آف دیٹ پرسن ان دا ڈریم rest of the stage and hall was empty and i am standing behind the chairs on the stage imran khan said to that person in a low voice that i have failed the way i made plans and the way i made promises to the nation i couldn't achieve them and i have failed i was very shocked upon hearing this since imran khan would brag about his achievements in front of the public that we have done great works the country is progressing and it is flourishing whereas in the hindsight he is admitting in front of his colleagues that he has failed then i went in front of imran khan and said to him that when you are sitting among your associates you admit that you have failed and you accept your failure but when you go in the public you say that a lot of progress is being made so when you have realized that you have failed then why don't you accept your failure Imran Khan tries to counter my argument. Then I said to him that sooner you accept the fact that you have failed, lesser will be the damage to Pakistan and Pakistan will get out of difficulties earlier. Imran Khan again tried to counter my argument, but I repeated what I had just said to him, that longer you take to accept your failures, more difficulties it will create for Pakistan and problems will keep increasing so if you accept your failure sona it will be more beneficial for the country and it will be a better f- thing for you as well during this when imran khan tried to counter me he had realized that i have heard what he had just said and i know the reality now then he became quiet and started looking at me and i continued by repeating that sona you reveal the reality and accept your failure sona the country could be back on track otherwise more you delay it it will be more damaging for pakistan as it will be surrounded by more difficulties and problems and the dream ended there jazakumullah khair wassalamu alaikum